Before we start today's video, due to popular demand, outtakes will feature at the end of this video, so stick around till then to see some... eh... kind of moments. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and welcome back to the first video in the brand new year! It's... gonna be... fun! Yeah! We're gonna start this new year off with a brand new entry into our series, 10 style swap series challenge type thing stuff that I do over here on YouTube. This is the series where I, ADC Art Attack, take one character of your choosing in the polls on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed to decide who it is that we... do. And attempt to redraw them in 10 styles chosen by you in the comment section down below. So, again, Feel free to leave those comments down below, letting me know what I should do next and which styles I should consider for the future. So who's up today? That's not green. It's not green either. Ah! Green. That took longer than it should have. Baby Yoda. So appearing on your screen right now, we have the 10 styles that I will be attempting to do Baby Yoda in today. And what I want you to do before this video continues is to leave your comment down below which style you are looking forward to the most. Then at the end of the video, I'll be asking you the same question, but I want you to edit or comment underneath your comment letting me know which style is your new favorite. I absolutely love when you guys leave those comments down below because it gives me a good idea as to whether I'm doing a style correctly or whether there is something I need to learn about a particular style. And it's always nice to just surprise some people. So before we go any further with today's video, there is one thing I need to say for those of you who are new around here, or those of you who have not seen one of these 10 style swap videos. We don't cosplay characters over here, or at least we try not to. No, no, no. We try to put ourselves in the minds of the creators of the respective styles and create a brand new character based on those styles. I do my best over here to try to produce the most accurate results to a style that I have chosen, so fear not. You don't have to worry about seeing Bart Simpson with Super Saiyan hair because that is not a Dragon Ball style. That is Bart Simpson with Super Saiyan hair. It's That's it. Yeah. So without further ado, it is time to get started with today's 10 style swaps of Baby Yoda. Yes, I know his name's not Baby Yoda, it's Grogu. I can already see the comments coming down below, but we're going to be calling him Baby Yoda throughout this video. So, let's go. I've always wanted to be a Jedi. I wonder. Okay, so kicking things off today with the first style, we have Baby Yoda. As is. I am not changing anything for the first style because we need a style that can be shown throughout this piece as a reference going forward. Something that we can look back on as we go and say, hey, that's him. The thing we're drawing. So all I'm doing here is just drawing the character as he appears in the series to the best of my abilities and hopefully it will look okay by the end. So yeah, there's really not much for me to say here about this one other than it's done. Yeah, that fast. As I said, there really isn't too much I wish to say about this piece as it's purely a copy of Baby Yoda from the series. I don't like to credit myself too much or overanalyze a piece I am copying. I will say, however, it looks nice. I chose a style that I feel comfortable with. It doesn't reflect a specific style, but it worked for showing Baby Yoda as is. And with that being said, it is time to get started with the nine remaining styles of Baby Yoda. So, moving on. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. A regular feature in our style swap series because you all seem to love it so much. Now, I am most efficient at drawing Dragon Ball Z characters. I've spent many years of my life doing so, but it's not a character we are drawing today. It's a style. As you know, I like to put myself in the shoes of the creators and imagine how would they do it. The first steps here were to get an idea on Baby Yoda. What similarities to other DBZ characters does he have? This can help us figure out what approach a creator may have. So let's make a list. Well, he's green, big ears, big eyes, short, and a questionable head structure. Okay, Piccolo and Bubbity. Seriously, who, why, what is that? These two characters match these attributes and I believe a slight fusion of the two would carry our character swap. 
Also, one key point here, and something I try to do with these styles, is avoid using on-the-nose features. Things that are used as a crutch to push a style. So where I could have used a Dragon Ball in his hands, I instead opted to convert Baby Yoda's little ball toy thing into a DBZ style too. A Dragon Ball would certainly have forced you to see a Dragon Ball Z style. I instead want to catch that style without using tricks. But as for the coloring, well, Dragon Ball has a cell shaded approach, and that is a very important thing. They also use them in specific ways that you really have to study for years to understand. You do, however, have a choice whether you use two, three, or four tones. I chose four. It's not super important at all. So yeah, just like that, it's Grogu. No, Grogu, not, not, not Goku. You know what? If this isn't a DBZ style, then I guess I have no idea what I'm doing because I actually love this one. You know, I, I don't like to big up my artwork, like, at all. I usually hate my stuff. You know this. But this... I captured it. It's ugly. But it's DBZ. The Clone Wars. Come on. Who of you watched this series in the day? The cartoon one was not as good as the later series, but it was still amazing. The style is so unique and iconic, it's beautiful. Now we were fortunate that Yoda himself featured in the series. Being that he is of the same race, this makes my life so much easier, but I can't copy because they aren't the same. So I gotta turn this into a baby. Really, all I did was remove some of the line work of the older Yoda and of course change the clothing. The line work though is where I felt this style most. There's so much line variation and this style in particular really emphasizes the importance of all aspects from the drawing to the lines and the colors. Everything is an individual piece that come together to complete the puzzle. Even though some areas do look quite easy, such as the coloring, it all fits together and works together to achieve a final result. I like it. What do you think? Does it look like the show? Let me know. Moving on. Among Us. Okay, so, right, okay. Be, be nice to me here. I still, since the last time I did this, have not played this game. I know, I know, it's a viral sensation right now and everyone knows the game, but I, I have not. I'm sorry. But I have studied the art form. So previously we did the Among Us style in the Mario character style thing. And that turned out great. So I wanted to do it again and see if I could, see if it wasn't just a fluke, if I could actually do it once more with another character, Baby Yoda. Yeah. And yeah, I took the same approach here. I just figured if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So all I did here was draw a base character of the Among Us characters because that is the style, is the characters themselves and a little few other things which we'll go into in a moment. And uh, yeah, so I just built upon that character and kind of did what I said I wouldn't do, which is cosplay the characters. So I did that, yeah. But the line work is just like so different and I tried to do different line work here. Something I've not really done before. It's, it's like my line variations, only it's not. So that worked. No, seriously, I actually really like that. Uh, but the coloring was, again, one of those areas where it kind of brings the image together, but at the same time, there's not a, I wouldn't say a unique coloring style here. It's just put down some colors, kind of a generic shadow across the entire thing. Yeah, background looks nice though. Yeah, when it's all done, it actually comes together really well. I think adding the background here was a key feature. I think that really helped to complete the piece. But at the same time, these little two fairy characters are still... Someone said they're spacemen, but they look like teeth. So I, I'm calling them teeth. It's not bad, actually. I, You know what? This might be my favorite one so far. I do like it. I think it's the most accurate to the style it's supposed to be because it does look like an Among Us character. So if you play the game, I'm sure you'll let me know. I should probably stop talking about it now because I'm no doubt going to embarrass myself in a moment. Moving on. Tim Burton. <laughs> Okay, this is no doubt the fan favorite here. It has been the fan favorite in every one of these episodes. You guys absolutely love the Tim Burton style and I can't disagree with you that this is nothing shy of just being an amazing style. He's a genius. What I love about the Tim Burton style is when you see a Tim Burton piece, you know it's a Tim Burton. And that is a sign of a great artist. 
That is also the sign of someone applying massive pressure to anyone who tries to copy it because so many people recognize the style and if I don't get it right, they're gonna tell me. So when I approach this style, the only things I can really say to keep in mind is you want a very cold piece. You want to play on those elements that make the character such as the large eyes and the very short body, but at the same time you gotta get some weirdness in there as well. Oh, and I put a frog. I don't know, my stream wanted me to put a frog in there, so I put a frog. The colouring of a Tim Burton piece is just where the style really takes shape, and the importance of this step really cannot be understated. It is the key to completing a Tim Burton style. See, you can colour it just normally, you can use your normal colours if you so choose, but one of the most important factors is to apply a washed out effect. You need to get yourself a warm grey, a cool grey, some kind of grey, and overlay the entire piece. You want to separate these colours, you want them to be dirty and horrible and... Yeah. I also added rain. I don't know, it just it just needed to be really, really sad. I actually really- this is- I like this one. I like this one a lot. Does it look like a Tim Burton though? This is probably the first time in this entire series that I'm actually doubting one of my Tim Burton styles. I'm not too sure about this one. I love the piece, don't get me wrong, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. But does it look like a Tim Burton? I think I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide, so let me know. Oh, and that's a- that's a toad, not a frog. Moving on! South Park. Okay, so I gotta say, this is probably my favourite animated TV show of all time. I absolutely love South Park, and um... Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Oh wait! No it's not! They already did it! Yeah, so I was planning out what I was gonna do with this South Park version because so many people asked me to do South Park, and um... I stumbled across this image of... Baby Yoda. It seems they already did it. So this is probably the cheapest and cheekiest of all of my style swaps because I've got a very strong reference here to use. So we're gonna use it, but I gotta change it. So I can't use this image. Uh, this is the only image I already have of it. So I'm just gonna do my own thing, but it's based off of this image. Yeah, I feel, I feel really dirty right now. That's, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. This looks great! I mean, it looks really, really cool. The only problem I have with it is it's basically what they already did. I just... I wanted to do South Park so badly and I didn't know they had done the style already, so... Doing this was like... I had to, I'm sorry, but it looks great! But um, overall, there's not too much I can say about this other than it just... Ah... <laughs> uh, I like it. Moving on. Creepy. Okay, look, before we go any further, I need to put a warning up on screen. Guys, I didn't... This isn't me. I didn't decide this one. This wasn't me. I didn't do this. Okay? I was streaming, and everyone was commenting what I should do, so I did it. I drew it live, and what you're about to see is their creation. So this is... this is subscribers' creation. So yeah, like I said, uh, this was created by my subscribers who just commented what they would like me to do as I was going. So we were just changing things as we went. Um, it started off, you know, normal. One of his eyeballs could fall out. Then we had him eating a frog. You know, this took a really dark turn. And there were some things that people wanted me to do. They wanted me to hang him. And I just thought that was really sick. So I just gave him a rope necklace. When it came to colouring this one, I wanted to do like a psychedelic thing. So I chose some really luminous greens and something that would look weird. I was tossing up the idea of colouring it in the Tim Burton style, very washed out colours. But I thought, what if we went the opposite way on this one and went just really bright and vibrant? And it actually worked. It started to play with me a little bit and I... The more I looked at it, the more I was disgusted by it. I really didn't like that, and in my opinion, that means this is good. So here it is, looking hideous. You know, it's a, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be creepy, and I think it is creepy. It looks very disturbing, and that is for me a win. If you are creeped out by this image, I've done my job. Moo, Vin, on. Pokemon.
Okay, so Pokemon. Now, this is most definitely going to be one of the most difficult ones because I've always had trouble converting anything to a Pokemon character. Not only that, Pokemon is probably the biggest franchise or most well-known style that I'll be doing here today, so a lot of pressure there. And my approach right here was to take inspiration from the only generation of Pokemon I am very familiar with, and that is the first generation. I am an OG when it comes to Pokemon. I haven't kept track of the current... I don't even know what generation they're on. Dude, editor. Um, where, where, where are we now with Pokemon? That far, huh? Huh. Well yeah, so I used first generation Pokemon as my inspiration for this piece, particularly characters such as Mew, because he is just so super cute and I just... Well, everyone likes Mew, right? Mew is definitely the best Pokemon, right? You know I remember back in the day when it was simpler times and Mew was the most powerful Pokemon, don't they have like a god Pokemon now? That's... wow. The most difficult challenge here for me was trying to figure out how I was going to do the body. I didn't know whether to do the standard body of a baby Yoda, which is just a big square because he's only wearing a cloak. You can't see his feet. So I did that, but I gave him feet. I don't know why I gave him feet. Yeah, I don't think coloring is really going to save this one. I'm not a big fan of this one, but we're going to color it anyway and hope- Oh, God. Okay, does this look like a Pokemon? I think- Maybe. It sort of does have a Pokemon feel to it. Maybe the body could be a little bit better. It's a bit boring. The body's a bit bland. Um, the head is nice though. I like the head. I think the head is very Yoda-ish. It's a, that's a word I've, I've made up. Yeah, if you're a Pokemon fan, let me know. I'm not totally convinced with this one, but I like it though, so that's cute. Moving on! <laughs> My voice broke. I, f I forgot what star we're on. Um, one second. DC Comics. So I'm going to say right here, although I have named this one DC Comics, this is actually more of a Jim Lee style. I just didn't name it Jim Lee because I wasn't sure how many people would understand the purpose of that or know who that was. But yes, this is a Jim Lee style. And Jim Lee is basically what you imagine a DC style is. It's dark, it's gritty, and it has a lot of black in there. So what I've done here is I've started using the base of the original one that we started with, and I just want to convert that into a DC style. Now fortunately, Jim Lee has actually attempted to do a Baby Yoda, so we have a general idea of how he would approach this. So keeping that in mind, I don't really need to do anything crazy or fancy. All I've got to do is his particular line work onto this piece, as well as the colouring when we get to it. But before we get to it, I love his line work. It is so good. It's messy. It has no structure to it. It's crazy. And that is it's so good. I don't want you to think that I'm dissing his line work here by saying that, by the way. It is a very good style. I love the free nature of it. I love the ability to put anything down wherever you want and no two images are alike. I think it's so fantastic of his work and it really works so well. As for the coloring, all you've got to do really is pick your favorite grays. I like to go for the warm grays because they just look amazing and I use them. But you have to make sure you leave some of those white highlights so you don't need to color the entire thing. Just leave those white highlights around the rim and you know, just keep those shadows dark and gritty. And in the end, Oh yes. Now, to be honest, this does look a lot like the first one we did. The only major difference being the line work and the way that we have colored it. So it looks like there's very little difference between the two, but there is a great difference if you actually look closely. And I like that about his work. As we've already seen with his attempt of a Baby Yoda drawing, we know, I believe he did this by the way. I'm not so sure that he did this. I think this is his. I like this regardless. This, I, this is, I like it. It's a good DC drawing and I'm very happy with this one. It's one of my favorite ones so far. So, moving on. Pop art. If you guys have a microphone and you ever record, you know why that was really hard to say. So, pop art. I've got to keep looking away from my mic every time I do this. I need a pop filter. So this style came to mind because I wanted to do an artistic style. I wanted something that was artsy, fartsy and cool. And pop art just seemed like the easiest choice, if I'm honest. But then I started. And while the base drawing wasn't so difficult to do, in fact, it looks like my nan. So, there's that. The line work was surprisingly difficult. And although I'm making this look easy, this is not real time. Please bear that in mind. This took me a very long time to make sure that I got those lines smooth 
and I got some variations in there and I tried to figure out the style best I could and it was actually quite difficult. It reminds me a lot of vector imaging but not. Um, the colouring was actually really easy. I can't really say I had any problems with it, except for doing all of these dots. The dots were... Well, they're dots, and... It was just... It wasn't difficult. It was just really, really, really boring. Hey, you know what? I like this one. This is a very cool one. It does look very nice. It's a very simplistic one at first glance, but it was actually quite difficult to do in practice, and you know, it looks artistic. I'm, I can't complain about this one. It looks artistic. It looks good. I'm very happy all around with this one, so hopefully you like it. Moo, then we're done. Okay, then. Well, there they are, everyone. Here are the 10 styles of Baby Yoda. I do hope you like them. If you do like them, leave a like on the video letting me know, but wow, this was so much Fun. We got through so many different styles here and it was so enjoyable. There were so many that I do like here. There was a couple I'm not too happy with, but overall, I gotta say, looking at them all together, I'm actually very proud of this. Baby Yoda has been a fawn in my side. Everyone wants me to do it and I was so scared to draw him. I don't know why. But I'm so happy that I did. And now, if you remember at the beginning of this video, I asked you to leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these styles you were looking forward to the most. Well, now has come the time for you to edit your comment or leave a comment underneath your comment letting me know which style is your new favorite. I'll give you a second. You done? Q. So I guess you are waiting to find out which one of these styles is my personal favorite, and I've got to say, it's actually the most difficult one here. I am torn between both the DC and the Among Us. But if I have to choose one of these drawings, I'm going to have to go with the Among Us one. I think purely because this one is the most accurate to the style, it looks like what it should be, and I am very happy with the results here. Even though I'm not familiar with Among Us, I think I nailed it. Well, there you have it everyone. The video is complete. What did you think about it? Did you enjoy the video today? Did you like the 10 styles of Baby Yoda? And yes, we know his name is not Baby Yoda, it is Grogu, but I just prefer the term Baby Yoda. It's cute, it's cuddly, and it just works really well and better than Grogu, which I don't like that name. So if you made it this far and you did enjoy today's video, then please leave a like on the video. That would be massively appreciated. But most importantly, leave those comments down below. Let me know which style you were looking forward to the most and which style is your new favorite. I'm going to go now and try to breathe because I haven't spoken throughout this entirety of this sentence and I'm starting to lose my air. Ha! Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. I hope you have yourself a lovely start to the new year. I know it's going to be difficult, but try your best, and I will see you all again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Bob, say bye. Bloody useless. And now for the outtakes. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Fucking hot. God damn it. Baby Yoda. It's Baby Yoda. It's Baby Yoda. Ha! Force push. You're so stable. <laughs> Do you like the name Baby Yoda? Okay. What if people call you Grogu? Well, that settles it then. His name is Baby Yoda. Blah!